All right, so we've covered both little volumes. We've got pump failure. What about neurogenic shock? Brain failure. Nerves. Nerve failure, okay. Well, what does nerve failure have to do with shock? Wait a minute, wait a minute, you're on to something. It can't control the diameter of the blood. Though. Yes, cannot control, the, how, how we talked about the way to compensate for this stuff, right, is we have a stroke, quiet heart rate, and diameter of arteries, right? That's what makes our blood pressure. Well, how do our arteries know what to do? Well, they get their commands from the brain via the nerves, right? <clears throat> so when you cut that signal off, they don't know to do anything. All right, what they do is they dilate. Remember I told you on Tuesday that your circulatory system is like that balloon that the, the carny makes little poodles out of, all right? Well, you know, it's nice and long, and if you squeeze one end, it blows up big on the other end. But the overall volume of the system is the same, okay? Now, in neurogenic shock, it doesn't work that way. What happens is all the blood vessels at once dilate. So you, you greatly increase the size of the container, all right? So from here down, signals are cut off. All these vessels down here, poof, dilate, all right? They, got no, they don't have any more signal to constrict, so they dilate, all right? Now, not only would we expect the signal of the heart to increase output to compensate for that, except the signal doesn't get past here. The heart and brain have no idea anything is wrong down here. So therefore, there's no compensation. For example, all right, a little scaly crawls on my skin and, and, and it goes poopy. All right, my skin doesn't like that and therefore I start to itch. Okay, what? Yes, all right, but I'm only itching right here, right? Because the reaction is local to where the offending agent is. All right, for example, you know, the pine tree would start to do their thing. You know, the seasonal allergies start to come out, so what happens? Right, you get the watery, puffy eyes, you get the runny nose, you know, but the, the, the problem that their reaction is, is local to where the offending agent is, all right? An ant bite you and you swell up, you know, you get a little, little ant bite, all right? You, the reaction is local to where the problem is, all right? With an anaphylactic reaction, the reaction is body-wide, it's a systemic reaction. That is the difference between a severe allergic reaction and an anaphylactic reaction, is with anaphylaxis, it's a systemic response. Yeah, it's a, a system-wide infection, a systemic infection. What age? No. No. It's a, it's a systemic bacterial infection. For example, It's pneumonia. Oh, uh, yeah, it's bad day for Mr. Jingles. He's done got pneumonia. And he's broken. Uh, yeah. <laughs> broken spine has pneumonia. All right, so Mr. Jingles has pneumonia. Where is that infection at? Lungs. 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 All right. He has pneumonia, and the infection is contained within his lungs. Right. Now, with sepsis, what would happen is the infection would spread beyond the lung to the entire body. You're a shock. Well, that was just number four. Yeah. I might have. What's the septic shock? Uh, yeah. Septic shock, you have vagal dilation. Okay. He's got a big word. Alright. So, when you say well, capillary time is delayed, you're thinking, where has blood gone? Alright. Blood. And. All right, so if good CRTs mean the blood's in the vascular space. If you have bad CRTs, that means it's not in the vascular space. 